subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Exam. Question number 1. A corporation uses an AWS application to offer content to its subscribers worldwide. Numerous Amazon EC2 instances are deployed on a private subnet, behind an application load balancer for the application. The chief information officer wishes to limit access to some nations, due to a recent change in copyright regulations. Which course of action will satisfy these criteria? Your options are a. Modify the ALB security group to deny incoming traffic from blocked countries. B. Modify the security group for EC2 instances, to deny incoming traffic from blocked countries. C. Use Amazon CloudFront to serve the application, and deny access to blocked countries. D. Use ALB listener rules to return access denied responses to incoming traffic, from blocked countries. The correct answer is, option C. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 2. A firm is developing a web application on AWS utilizing containers. At any one moment, the organization needs three instances of the web application to be running. The application must be scalable in order to keep up with demand increases. While management is cost conscious, they agree that the application should be highly accessible. What recommendations should a solutions architect make? Your options are A. Add an execution role to the function with the following as the action and as the principal. B. Add an execution role to the function with the following as the action and service Amazon AWS.com as the principal. C. Add a resource-based policy to the function with the following as the action and service events.Amazon AWS.com as the principal. D. Add a resource-based policy to the function with the following as the action and service events.Amazon AWS.com as the principal. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 3. A meteorological startup company has created a custom web application, for the aim of selling weather data to its members online. The company currently uses Amazon DynamoDB to store its data, and wishes to establish a new service that alerts the managers of four internal teams whenever a new weather event is recorded. The business does not want for this new service to impair the operation of the present application. What steps should a solutions architect take to guarantee that these objectives are satisfied with the minimum feasible operational overhead? Your options are A. Create a DynamoDB table in on-demand capacity mode B. Create a DynamoDB table with a global secondary index C. Create a DynamoDB table with provision capacity and auto-scaling D. Create a DynamoDB table in provision capacity mode, and configure it as a global table The correct answer is, option A. Question number 4. Using 7 Amazon EC2 instances, a business runs its web application on AWS. The organization needs the DNS queries provide the IP addresses of all healthy EC2 instances. Which policy should be employed to comply with this stipulation? Your options are A. Simple routing policy B. Latency routing policy C. Multivalue routing policy D. Geolocation routing policy The correct answer is, option C. Question number 5. A business uses an Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL database instance, to manage a fleet of web servers. Following a normal compliance review, the corporation establishes a standard requiring all production databases to have a recovery point objective of less than one second. Which solution satisfies these criteria? Your options are A. Enable a multi os deployment for the DB instance B. Enable auto-scaling for the DB instance in one availability zone C. Configure the DB instance in one availability zone, and create multiple read replicas in a separate availability zone. D. Configure the DB instance in one availability zone, and configure AWS database migration service change data capture tasks. The correct answer is, option D. 
Question number 6. On Amazon EC2 instances, a business is developing an application that creates transitory transactional data. Access to data storage that can deliver adjustable and consistent IOPS is required by the application. What recommendations should a solutions architect make? Your options are A. Provision an EC2 instance with a throughput optimized HDD root volume and a cold HDD data volume. B. Provision an EC2 instance with a throughput optimized HDD volume that will serve as the root and data volume. C. Provision an EC2 instance with a general purpose SSD root volume and provisioned IOPS SSD data volume. D. Provision an EC2 instance with a general purpose SSD root volume. Configure the application to store its data in an Amazon S3 bucket. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 7. A business is creating a website that will store static photos in an Amazon S3 bucket. The company's goal is to reduce both latency and cost for all future requests. How should a solutions architect propose a service configuration? Your options are A. Deploy an at server in front of Amazon S3 B. Deploy Amazon CloudFront in front of Amazon S3 C. Deploy a network load balancer in front of Amazon S3 D. Configure auto-scaling to automatically adjust the capacity of the website The correct answer is, option B Question number 8 for the database layer of its e-commerce website, a firm uses Amazon DynamoDB with provided throughput. During flash sales, clients may encounter periods of delay when the database is unable to manage the volume of transactions. As a result, the business loses transactions. The database operates normally during regular times. Which approach resolves the company's performance issue? Your options are a. Switch DynamoDB to on-demand mode during flash sales. B. Implement DynamoDB Accelerator for fast in-memory performance. C. Use Amazon Kinesis to queue transactions for processing to DynamoDB. D. Use Amazon Simple Queue Service to queue transactions to DynamoDB. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 9. On its website, a business keeps a searchable store of things. The data is stored in a table, with over 10 million rows in an Amazon RDS for MySQL database. The database is stored on a 2 terabytes general purpose SSD array. Every day, the company's website receives millions of changes to this data. The organization found that certain activities were taking 10 seconds or more, and concluded that the bottleneck was the database storage performance. Which option satisfies the performance requirement? Your options are a. Change the storage type to provisioned IOPS SSD. B. Change the instance to a memory optimized instance class. C. Change the instance to a burstable performance DB instance class. D. Enable multi AZ RDS read replicas with MySQL native asynchronous replication. The correct answer is option A. Question number 10 A business is prepared to use Amazon S3 to store sensitive data. Data must be encrypted at rest for compliance purposes. Auditing of encryption key use is required. Each year, keys must be rotated. Which solution satisfies these parameters and is the most optimal in terms of operational efficiency? Your options are A. Server-side encryption with customer-provided keys B. Server-side encryption with Amazon S3 managed keys C. Server-side encryption with AWS KMS customer master keys with manual rotation. D. Server-side encryption with AWS KMS customer master keys, with automatic rotation. The correct answer is, option D. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.